Once more, we are seeing the horror of a mass shooting through the eyes of the heroes. Days after a teenage shooter randomly killed three elderly women, police in Farmington, New Mexico, have released dramatic body camera video capturing the daring actions of police officers. In scenes we should warn you may find upsetting, the video captures officers rushing toward the danger, their long guns extended in front as one officer confronts and takes down the shooter. Another officer's own camera captures the moment she is shot, crawling to safety as colleagues rush to her aid. One of two officers injured that day. The scenes, just some of the images helping investigators piece together the actions of the young man who at one point appears to dare officers to take him on. Aaron McLaughlin takes us through it. Tonight in Farmington, New Mexico, new police body camera footage capturing the harrowing moment America's latest teenage mass shooter was shot dead by police. Down! In the footage released by police late Thursday, you see the officers running toward danger. More shots are being fired. Neighbors guiding them to the attacker. I see him. Get behind the car, sir. Another sergeant's camera records her being shot in a hail of gunfire. Shot. Where's your tourniquet? Two officers were among the seven injured, all now released from the hospital. We're securing! This was the climax of 18-year-old Bo Wilson's deadly rampage right, through his own place. neighborhood. Police say 97-year-old Gwendolyn Schofield and her 73-year-old daughter Melody died trying to save 79-year-old Shirley Voita, also killed. The day before his high school graduation, police say Wilson, armed with three different guns and having access to more than 1,400 rounds of ammunition, began firing an AR-15 assault rifle from his home. He fired more than 140 bullets before dropping the AR-15 and moving down the block, firing at random homes and cars. He is yelling on the ring footage. Um, come kill me. Police say Wilson was initially wearing a bulletproof vest modified to include steel plates before taking it off for his last stand with police. The motive remains unclear. Their only clue, this chilling note found on his body saying, I'm at the end of the chapter. Tonight, there are still so many unanswered questions following this stunning display of violence. Such heroism in the face of danger. Erin, what is the family of the shooter saying tonight? Lester, in a statement, his family sending their condolences to the victims, writing Wilson was fighting a battle with mental illness that he lost. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.